So just to enlighten you a little bit, whenever I've had difficult situations or faced with challenges or faced with uncertainty, I spent a little bit of time crying, I spent a little bit of time worrying. However, I didn't like the way it made me, it made me feel by being in that place. Because I know naturally my energy is high and energetic and bubbly. I have a good spirit. My energy is just full of entertainment and I like to be happy. I've constantly got a smile, not only on my face, but in my heart. So when my when the smile on my heart turns into a frown, it shows in my character, it shows in my personality, it shows in my actions. My energy is spoiled like fruit. When fruit has gone bad, you've missed the time to eat it when it's at its ripest. But what I found helped is something as simple as reflecting on my day, feeling, getting back into emotion and how I felt and asking myself this simple question, how am I feeling? The answer would typically be feeling down, sad. How do I want to feel is the question I would then ask myself. I want to feel ha be happy be around people, energetic, enjoying my life, enjoying my work, regardless of what's going on. My next question to myself would be, how am I going to do this? How am I going to turn this around and get myself back to my happy place? I then write. I write on paper the actions I want to have happening the next day. So for example, you get a sheet of paper, you draw a line in the middle of the paper, on one hand piece of paper, you'll say, what do I want? And on the other side of the paper, paper sorry, you would write, what do I want to avoid? So on one side, I'll write, I want to wake up happy. I want to go to bed happy. I want to enjoy my time at work for the entirety of the year. I want to engage with people. I want to inspire people. I want to help them when they're down. And equally, I would let them know that if I'm down, can I come to them for conversations too? So I'm opening myself up as a vehicle of energy to help people through difficult times. So that's me sharing my actions going forward on how I chose, how I decided to turn my life around. So the three key steps for you guys are to reflect, feel and write. Once you master those three little simple instructions, ideas, thoughts, then you can start planning out how you'd like your day, week, month, year to unfold. The key to making this work for you, the key to your ingredients of this little task is to be, remain consistent. Yes, I know we all have busy lives, we work long hours. Most of us are jumping from one job to another. Most of us are jumping from jobs, rushing to get our kids from school, cook, get them to activities, spending time with your partners, and having very little time for yourself because most of us have still got to do work at home and finish tasks that need to be need to be done however if you factor in this small little task into your google calendar or your phone as a reminder it's five minutes five extra minutes those extra five little minutes will change your day those five extra minutes will change your week those five extra minutes will change your month those five extra minutes will change your year. So I leave you with this. Reflect, feel and write.